yesterday wasn't the greatest of days. When I got home yesterday around 11 p.m., my mom had cooked up for dinner some pierogies, steak, and broccoli. And that is going to be the biggest struggle is trying not to eat mom's cooking uh, unless otherwise I can fit it in. Yesterday was supposed to be a rest day, and I only had like 120 grams of carbs. But then I got home, and I was starving, so before bed I did have a little bit of food. And then I woke up this morning feeling a little groggy. Um, stomach was a little upset and whatnot. So I pressed snooze a couple times on my alarm clock, stayed in and slept a little bit longer. But you know what, today is a new day. We're just gonna get back on track. As a side note, this morning I woke up at 232.7, which actually isn't that bad. Yesterday I woke up at 232.5 and that is my lowest weight so far. Now my weight average for week one was 234 pounds, just over a little bit. So now seeing the numbers in the 232s is pretty good and hopefully this week we can get even below the 230s and get a low 230 average. That's so annoying. So no one ever lets you in too. Yeah, you know that Toronto is the fifth worst place for commuting in the world. It's one of the worst cities in the world for commuting. It's brutal. I just felt like the biggest idiot right now. Lucci and I just walked into the kids sport check and we're like walking around looking looking for things and then we realized we're in the right spot. Yeah, not gonna fit us. So we left the mall now and on our way out, it was like our last store. We noticed that the Adidas outlet store was having a 40% off sale additional to some of their items because they are moving. So I picked up a couple things. Right now, we just need to go to Costco, get all my groceries for the week. Enjoy the apple. I love these Smitten's apples. <coughs> when I went to the Reebok outlet store, that's what I was really told to go there because they can authorize the 50% off from Good Life if I show them proof that I work at Good Life. And they turned around and said that they couldn't authorize it. They said I need to go to the head office one. I don't know. I was referred to go to this one and clearly they couldn't do it. So disappointing as always. But we need to get these shoes. Operation by shoes. <laughs> I'm zooming down my shoes. Really? I know they're bad. I need new shoes. That was one of the most expensive shopping trips ever at Costco in a long time. The total came out to $190. Now, disregard, obviously, my mom's stuff was like $55. So that's $135 for myself. So the avocado, turkey bacon, and the bubbling water, or sparkling water, was an additional like $40. Bucks. All in all, spent about $95. That's what I typically spend on the, an average weekend, so. Growing up, my dad and I used to always watch Italian soccer. Our favorite team was AC Milan, and so when I was out at the mall, I picked him up a scarf. I was gonna originally give this to him for his birthday, but I just wanted to give it to him now as a little thank you gift. So let's see his reaction. I got you something. Yeah, poor AC Milan, eh? I know. How do you like it? Beautiful. Now you may ask me, how many cases of water is that? Originally it was supposed to be 12, got 15 cases. Now don't be surprised, this is what we normally do. My family, we always get this many cases of water. How many guys do you think we're gonna get? I don't actually think we're gonna get that many. Well, if my buddies come, then we can at least have five. And then I'm sure there might be guys at the park. No? No, nobody's gonna be there. No one comes out anymore. I know, it's... Well, we're... I know, Andrew would turn around and say, oh, because we're older. Soccer, soccer. <laughs> what do you got to say now, Andrew? <laughs> what do you got to say now? <laughs> What's going on everyone? I want to welcome you back to a voiceover. It's been a hell of a long time since I've done one of these, but let's get started. I'm going to be taking you through my push workout. So we started off with doing an incline dumbbell press. Here you want to ensure that you go heavy. 
um, what we did here was four sets by six to eight reps and we always want to focus on controlling that weight on the way down by pushing all the way up and squeezing as hard as you can afterwards we went on to doing a decline bench press I haven't done this movement in actually a long time, but I decided to give it a go because I wanted to hit that lower chest today. Here we worked with doing three sets by 12 reps, controlling that weight once again, trying to squeeze that bar together when you come up to the top. Afterwards, we did a cable crossover. Here we did six sets total with two sets at each angle, starting from the bottom. As you see here now going to the middle, and in a second you're gonna see us from the top to the bottom and every time you do this movement you want to ensure that you are bringing those hands together afterwards we did a seated shoulder press with the dumbbells at this moment my shoulders were already gassed but we just wanted to get that workout done and we you know pushed through and got it done in a second here you're going to see my last rep was a grinder so let's just watch this here Oh, is it going to go? Is it going to go? Oh, and there we go. We got that rep and that nice little smile at the end. Afterwards, we did a dumbbell lateral raise. We supersetted this with a dumbbell flat skull crusher. Here, I was aiming to do three sets by about 15 reps. Uh, and then afterwards, with the flat skull crushers, we did three sets at 12 reps. So here, the one tip I can give you guys is make sure that with the lateral raise, you lead with the pinkies coming up. That is going to be key for hitting that lateral deltoid. With the skull crusher now, on the other hand, you want to make sure that you try to keep those elbows in. You don't want them to flare out as much. Naturally, you will have some flare, but you do want to keep them in as much as possible. And lastly, we finished the workout off with doing a cable push down. We did a 3 by 12 here. Just again, squeezing as hard as you can at the bottom of the movement. Now stay tuned for the rest of the video. I'm going to be giving you guys a valuable tip when starting off your diet and your cutting phase. So I'll catch you guys in the next one and enjoy. As you just saw, I just finished up with a great push session today. I did hit a couple little mini PRs as well. Now I just want to drift into one thing that kind of crossed my mind when doing my workout. So the one thing I want to go over is starting a diet plan so when you start with your diet plan and for seven days you track you get your weight average and you see where you're at for the next week keep it the exact same don't change anything don't add more cardio don't drop your calories keep everything the exact same and then the following week you get to see if your weight went up or if it went down if it went down perfect keep it again if it went up then obviously maybe make some changes depending on what your goal is so that is one thing that you want to keep in mind when starting your plan is to not change anything for at least two weeks. Anyways, I'm going to call it a night because I got to go home, have my last meal, and then I'm going to go to bed. But if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up as always. Subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'm out.